Hi there, we have question 13C from NECTA 2015 uh, past paper. Uh, question it uh, is a form is from form 3 topic and is uh, Earth as a sphere. We're given two places P and Q both on the parallel of latitude 26 degrees. Differ in longitude by 40 degrees. Find the distance between them along the parallel of latitude. Okay, first thing you need to do is make sure you draw the diagram. Don't try to attempt to do this in your head. You are very likely to get things wrong. So, draw the, uh, the radius of the R. So let's just call that RE. Okay, and so obviously we have an equator here. That's your equator, and we know equator is at zero degree, degrees. And we are told P and Q are on the parallel of latitude 26 degrees north. That means this is your reference, zero degrees is your reference. And we're going 26 degrees north is going upwards, so it's going that way. Okay, so let's just draw the line there and put that angle in so it's 26 degrees this is where this this other latitude is so let's just draw the other latitude okay so this other latitude there remember these latitudes are parallel to each other and therefore parallel to the equator as well on this latitude there is point p and point Q somewhere so let's just say they're there and between them there's an angle of 40 degrees we need to find the distance between them okay so let's just call that L the length between them or distance you can call it D if you want remember these circular these latitudes are circular okay so what we're actually looking for is an arc is a part of the circumference of this latitude so we need to find length of the arc in order to do that we need to find the radius of this small circle so if we draw a radius from there to there this is also going to be the radius of the small circle of this latitude Right, I'll just draw that uh, so we can see what's going on here. This radius of the latitude and the radius of the earth, they're exactly opposite to each other. So that's uh, just a straight line and vertically. We also know the radius of the earth is parallel to the radius of the small uh, circle. Of the latitude okay so that means that and this are parallel to each other because the latitude and the equator are parallel to each other now look what we have we have parallel line this is your transversal line remember angles on a parallel line we have this angle here is going to be equal to this angle here because alternate angles are equal so this angle here is 26 degrees this line is also radius of the earth now if I, if I take that triangle out I have something like this okay I have radius of the small circle radius of the earth and I have 26 degrees there. Now let's just pause for a minute on that point. What we need to find is the length of the arc, the distance between P and Q, okay? Distance between them. So let's just call L. You have a circle, that's our latitude, and you have P here, you have Q there. This is your radius of the small circle we need to find this one pq okay so 
PQ. What is that equal to? It's a part of the circumference. It's the length of the arc. Okay, so PQ is the proportion of the circle times times circumference. Okay, so I'll just write it like that. So PQ then is equal to what's the proportion of a circle? We have 40 degrees between them. So the proportion is going to be 40 out of the whole circle. The whole circle is 360 degrees. So the proportion is 40 divided by 360 times the circumference. Okay, circumference is 2 times pi times the radius of the latitude, this latitude, small circle. This is what we need to find first. So let's go back to our triangle. Okay, I need to use trig here to find our S. I have, for this angle, I have the adjacent and I have the hypoten uh, hypotenuse. Which one of the trig will help me find our S? It's cos. Okay, so cos 26 equals adjacent over hypotenuse okay and that's equal to so cos 26 equals to adjacent which is rs over re re is the radius of the earth which you should know is 6400 kilometers so radius of the small circle then is uh, if you do that calculation let's just do it Let's just write it first. So 6,400 times cos 26. This will give you roughly 5,752 kilometers. Okay. Right. So we've got our RS. The only thing we need to do now is just substitute in here. So PQ, which is the distance between the two points, uh, is now... 40 over 360, if we just simplify that, we'll get 1 over 9. Okay, so 9 there. So the answer then will be 2 times pi times radius of our small circle, which is 5752 uh, divided by 9. If you do this calculation, you will get roughly uh, 4014 kilometer in three significant figure okay this question is done